Hello, Marilyn. Welcome to the class. I can't hear you, to be honest with you. Maybe there are some problems with the connection. Hello, Edwin. Welcome. Hello. Thanks. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, we're going to wait just a few minutes. Uh, meanwhile, the other people coming to the class. Okay. Hello, teacher. Ah, I can hear you now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have the problem in my internet. Yeah, this week's been difficult, right? I have that. <laughs> First, internet went down, and then yes. WhatsApp and Facebook, so many things happened. <laughs> yeah, me too. Last weekend. <laughs> yeah, last weekend, I... all done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so let's hope for the class, everything is fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to wait just one or two more minutes. Meanwhile, the other people are coming to the class. Hello, Margarita. Welcome to the class. Hello, teacher. Good How evening. are you? Fine. Nice. Welcome. Thanks. Hello, Gerardo. Welcome to the class. Ah, he's connecting. Hello, Gerardo. Welcome to the class. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay, my friends, we are going to start the class for today. Uh, the first question is, how is everybody doing with the platform? Um, did you finish already? Do you miss just a few things? How is everything going? I finished all the tests um, in the platform. You finished everything? Yes, everything. Good. So you have the certificate already. Yes. Yes. Very I good. I have a question about the the process for the inscriptions to the next level. Okay. So I didn't get the new forms. So you didn't receive so the yet? Can... No yet. Mm, okay. And the rest of the class, did you receive the documents so you can send them? Yes, I received. Yes, teacher. When did you receive those? Do you remember? Last week, right? Um, received um, last, last week. week. Maybe. Yeah, I guess it was oh. last week. Okay. Um, yeah. And Since did you share the 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 blank form, please? Yeah, I guess we can share that. Uh, maybe in the WhatsApp group, somebody can share. All the information. I believe that she sent that one, right? There in the group is in the WhatsApp group. Is there already? Mm, I think there is the only the comment, but not the document. Okay, very well. Okay, so what you can do is if somebody, anybody can help Margarita and send the documentation so she can fill it the form. And uh, tomorrow, send it, uh, Margarita. Send it as soon as possible. Send it tomorrow so you can. Uh, and also remember that you have to send the picture of the Dewey and need and all everything that is required. Yes. And whenever you send that one, uh, text a message uh, letting know the person that you didn't receive that one, but you want to participate in. Now you are sending that one. If you have any problems, you can text me and, and I'm going to research what we can do for you. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Very good. Okay. Okay, what about the rest? Uh, Edwin, have you finished already the platform? Yes, I finished the platform, teacher. Very good. So you have the certificate already? Yes. Good. 
Uh, what about Marilyn? Oh, yes, teacher. I finished the platform. Very good. I received the certificate. Nice. What about Gerardo? Me too, teacher. I finished the platform. Nice. And what about Elvis? Me too, teacher. I finished already. Very really good. Happy. Okay, so we can go to the beach. We are ready and practice that in English. <laughs> That's good. That's very good. Um, is well at the end of the class. Of course, I'm going to ask because there are some students that are coming into the class right now. Uh, but it's good that you finish already, so we are not worried. Um, if you have the eighty percent or more, we're just waiting for the next uh, to start. Okay. Good. So uh, we're going to start today with a reading for this class. Let me share you this one. Okay. So this is a uh, shopping then and now. As usual, we're going to repeat and then uh, we're going to check vocabulary. Uh, let me remember. Uh, yeah, there are some questions here. Okay, let's check the questions first to see if we can get the answers whenever we read. So it's true or false. Number one says, shopping centers are full of different shops. Well, I guess that without reading, we know the answer, right? Um, number two, it says, modern shopping malls are small. I guess we know the answer of that. Uh, shop windows are empty. Number four, people didn't have fridges many years ago. Number five, butchers sell different kinds of meat only. Do you know what are butchers? No. No. What do you mean? No. Okay, a butcher is a profession. Uh, a butcher, a person that is a butcher is um, a person that sells, that sells uh, meat, different kinds of meat like uh, pork or uh, chicken, any kind of meat. So it's that kind of person that when you go to the market, they cut the piece of meat and give you. So that is a butcher, okay? A fridges, of course, you know what are fridges, right? In number four. What are fridges? Is the refrigerator? That is it. So it's another name for refrigerator. It's a short name, right? Ah, okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Number six says a grocer sell lots of things. So grocers, what are grocers? Do you have an idea? It's like a, a person who works in a, in a little market. Something like that, very good. So grocery store are those stores where you can buy vegetables, uh, rice, beans, things like that, right? Okay, number... Mm -hmm. um, Seven, shopping trolleys were used in the past. Do you know where are the shopping trolleys? No. Okay. No. A shopping trolley Maybe is... Maybe a car. Yeah, that's it. It's a little car mm -hmm. that you take in the supermarket where you put everything there, right? So those are the, uh, the trolleys. Mm -hmm. That is uh, an English, I mean, uh, a word from England. It's not that common in the US. Okay, and uh, number eight, it says a grocer used to be very busy. Number nine, it says these days supermarkets make shopping easy. And now we are going to read. Okay, here we go. Please repeat everybody. Shopping then and now. Shopping, shopping, shopping then, then, and now. In town, there are different kinds of shops. In town, In town there, there are, are different, different kinds of, of shops. shops. Some of them sell clothes. Some, Some of them sell clothes. clothes. Others sell shoes, medicine, books, fruit and vegetable, meat, bread and jewelry. Others, 
jewelry. Okay. Uh, all modern large shopping malls have nearly all the shops you can think of. Um, all modern large modern shopping, shopping malls, malls have nearly all the shops you can think of. Where we can buy almost all we want. Where we where can, we can buy, buy almost, almost all we want. We want. Uh, in the windows, we see samples of the things which they sell. In the windows, in the windows, samples of the things which they sell. Advertise offers. Advertise offers. offers. Discounts and sales. Discounts and sales. Sales and sales. Over a hundred years ago. Uh, over a hundred years, years ago, there were no supermarkets in Great Britain. There, there were no supermarkets, supermarkets in Great Britain. But there were a lot of small shops. But, but there, there were, were a lot of, a lot of, small, lot of shops. A small shops. People went to the shops almost every day. People, People went, went to the went shops, to the shops almost, almost every, every, day. every day because they didn't have fridges. Because, because they, they didn't, didn't have fridges. fridges. They went to the butcher to buy meat. They went, they they went, went to, to the, the butcher, butcher to, buy to buy meat. They went to the grocer for tea, sugar, flour, and cheese. They, they went, went to the grocery for sugar, sugar, flour, sugar, flour, and, flour and, cheese. and cheese. They bought butter and milk at the dairy. They, they bought butter and, butter and milk at the dairy. dairy. They bought bread at the bakery. They, they bought bread at, at the bakery. bakery. Mm. They bought fruit and vegetables at the greengrocer. They, they bought fruit and vegetables at the grocer, of the green grocer. Green grocer. Customer had to ask the grocer for the things they wanted to buy. Customer had, had to ask the grocer, the grocer for the things, the things, they, things wanted they wanted to buy. To buy, to buy. As, as they didn't have the freedom of pushing a trolley around a supermarket. As they, didn't they didn't have, have, have the freedom of pushing, pushing a trolley on a supermarket. supermarket. And pick their own shopping like people do today. And, and pick, pick their, their own shopping, shopping like, like people do, to do today. today. Very good. So now we're going to check the questions. It says, uh, number one, shopping centers are full of different shops. Hmm. Is, That's is, true. That is true, right? There are lots of things. You can find almost everything in the shopping centers nowadays. Number two, modern shopping malls are small. It's false. Mm. False. That is false, right? False. So now, I mean, if you go there to Las Cascadas and all that, I mean, that is huge, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, the other one says number three, Shop windows are empty. Do you know what is empty? I see you. Yes. That is it. That is so false. that is false, right? That is false. Very good. Number four, people didn't have fridges many years ago. That's true. That is true. That is Good. true. Number five, butchers sell different kinds of meat only. True. true. That is true. I mean, you can, in the past, you were not able to go to the butcher and ask for milk, for example. Only meat, right? So number six, grocer sells lots of things. True. Oh. Well, that is false because they just sell a few things, right? Number seven, shopping trolleys were used in the past. 
False. False. That is false. Yeah, that is new here in the supermarket. Number eight, a grocer used to be very busy. Oh. Yeah. That is true. Yeah, because true. I mean, you, when you go to the supermarket, you pick your own things. But in the past, the grocer was in front of the store and you were like, I want this, I want this. And he wants, but he had to provide everything to uh, all the customers. Mm -hmm. So the customers, they couldn't come and pick their own things. They had to ask to the grocer to give something, right? And ask for prices and things like that. So they were very busy. And number nine, these days supermarkets make shopping easy. Mm. True. 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 Nice, nice. Okay, now we're going to check some vocabulary words here. Let's practice. Okay, when we say then and now, what is that? Then it's in the past and now it's in the present. Very good. So that is like a comparison, right? When we say, um, we can say anything. Television, for example, movies, then and now. So now movies are more violent and before they weren't that violent, things like that, okay? There is an expression that is very popular also when we say every now and then. Do you know what is that? Every now and then. Mm -hmm. I have never heard that. Really? Yes. <laughs> uh, that is kind of difficult to explain in English. Maybe I will say it in, in Spanish, but it's very popular. Actually, there is a song with that one. It's a song, let me remember how it was. It's a song that is, uh, turn around every now and then I get a little bit long. Have you uh, heard that? So yes, then, yeah, that song. <laughs> ah, you heard that before? <laughs> I got you. <laughs> okay, so every, <laughs> when we say every now and then, it's like when we say in Spanish, de vez en cuando. Okay, mm. so we can mm. say that one. So we can, we can start using other expressions that are very common in English, but maybe here in Spanish, we don't use it because we are learning English, right? Okay, uh, what is a town? Like a... Like a, a the opposite, like a city, but, uh, the opposite city. Yeah. yeah, that is, yeah, it's very similar city. to all the ideas. It's like a city, but smaller, right? It's not that big, it's, okay. And it says there is a different kinds of shops. Some of them are sell. What is to sell? Explain me that in English. Sell. When the, when the action uh, uh, offer something? Some like that, right? When you, what is the opposite to buy, right? Somebody sells and somebody buys, and there is a transaction. Good. Uh, what is, let me see, meat. In English, please. Is yeah. hmm. the kind of food well that you get from animals, like cows, Fish, chicken. Very good. That is it. So it's food that we get from animals, right? Uh, how do you say the, uh, to the meat of, of the pig? When you want to get some meat from the pig, what is the name of that? It's pork. Pork. Meat. Pork. pork. Yes. Very good. Mm -hmm. What about the meat from the cows? Uh, beef. Beef. Very good. So that is beef. Nice. What is bread? Um, it's a kind of food that we get from some grains, like, um, um, I don't know how to say that, but um, trigo. Okay, tricks, uh-huh. Yeah, it's, it's kind of difficult, right? But this is like a piece of something that some people 
do in the oven and they put many other things and we eat with other kind of food, right? Like rice or meat or with the main dishes, things like that. Good. What is jewelry? Jewelry. Um, jewelry. 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 For um, example, earrings, 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 diamonds, rings. Mm -hmm. Yes, there are some accessories. We have some little precious rocks like ruby, sapphire, diamond. Nice. Very good. Very good explanations. I like that. I mean, yes, are like accessories made of most likely made of metal yes. uh, it might be from gold silver and sometimes gold. they have some stones like a woman the like that teacher <laughs> yeah <I know>. <laughs> <laughs> women are we are not much into that one but women they really like that that is a good present yeah. <laughs> okay the other one says all modern large shopping malls so, okay have nearly what is nearly in this case mm. Mm. Maybe uh, most of the shops are one next to the other in a periphery of place, maybe? Well, nearly, you know, is an, an adverb that is about position. That, that is correct. But in this situation where it says, all modern large shopping malls have nearly all the shops you can think of. So nearly is something different. What do you think is it? Um, so that means yeah. that almost of the shops have many things to offer for the customers. Something like that. So in this case, all modern large shopping malls have nearly means have almost all the shops you can think of, almost everything, mm -hmm. nearly a hundred percent, some like that. Good. Okay. You can think of where we can buy almost all we want. What is almost? Frequently, more, more than frequently. More than frequently, yeah, that is a good mm -hmm. one. So it's also is uh, very near to a hundred percent, right? So when you say, yes. I almost have, I almost eat all my food, for example. That means that you ate a lot, but not all of it. So that is it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Samples, what are samples? Like uh, testers or a piece of any food that they maybe are offering. That is correct. So there are samples, for example, when you buy uh, in some stores, when you buy perfumes, sometimes they, they put you some samples of all the perfumes, mm -hmm. right? Or in the supermarket, yes. when you are walking, there are some girls sometimes that are providing some samples. So you can taste it and, yes. and then buy. Good. Yes. Okay, of the things which they sell. Advertise, what is to advertise? Um, some cards. Uh, um, how can I say that? Mm, um, I forget the, the name in English, but they are anuncios or carteles. Publicity. Publicity, very good. So it's uh, something that you see when you are driving, you see a lot of advertisement, right? Everywhere. Nowadays, that is yes. something very, very common. So advertise. Advertise is the verb. And if you're talking about the noun, it's advertisement, okay? Uh, okay, in this case, it's advertise offers, discounts, and sales. So the verb means that it's promoting offers, discounts, and sales. And then it says over 100 years ago. In this case, what is over? It's like about about well it's not about it's more okay. more than a hundred years ago yeah. so over right 
over a hundred years ago. Mm -hmm. And then it says there were no supermarkets in Great Britain, but there were a lot of small shops. People went to the shops almost every day. Imagine that one. Uh, mm -hmm. Because they didn't have fridges. Mm -hmm. They went to the butcher to buy meat. They went to the grocer for tea. What is tea? It's a kind of tea. beverage. It's a <laughs> beverage. Very good. It's a Chinese beverage, very popular. Mm -hmm. And there are lots of kinds of tea mm -hmm. right now. Then it says sugar, flour. What is flour? Do you remember? Can you please explain me flour? <laughs> In English, how do you say that? How do you explain that? <laughs> it, is the, it is the thing or one of the ingredients that you need to make bread. Good. So that is together with the other word, right? So flour is some a very important ingredient that we use when we work to, to make bread or to make a cake or many things like that. Nice. Okay, flour and cheese, they bought butter. What is butter? It's like a, it's like oil, but um, in, in a bar or <laughs> Good. in a bar. <laughs> That is it. I mean, you, you, you made it great. It's like a similar thing like oil. It's not like oil exactly, but it's similar to oil that you use to cook, right? Most likely, not always, but uh, almost always it comes in a bar. So you can cook eggs or whatever you want, right? A dairy. Do you know what is dairy here? Every day. In this case, it's not every day. Not in this situation. Because it says they bought butter and milk at the dairy. A day teacher. Mm, like very days in a week, but not not exactly the same days. No. To be honest with you. This is a very interesting it's word. A day. It's a not day? a day. A, a deity is a place in this situation. I mean, deity, if I say daily with L, that is every day. But deity in this situation is a place uh, where you go and buy milk, cheese, those kind of things. Okay. That is uh, why it's called deity, because those are the things that people used to eat every day. Right, milk, cheese, mm. uh, cream, all those kind of things. Uh, the place in the past where you go and buy things, well, actually here in El Salvador is very common. Uh, it's very common for you to go to a dairy and buy cheese. There are many kinds of cheese, many kinds of cream, many other things that are similar. And of course, some other things that not only cheese, but there are still here in El Salvador, we still have that. And the ones from Metapan are very famous, right? So that is a daily. The place where you buy those kind of things. Okay, then it says they bought bread at the bakery. Okay, bakery, what's a bakery? Explain me that. Bakery is a place. 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 When you buy bread. Bread, bread right. Bread, In sweet bread, sweets. Nice. Pastry. Pastry. Yeah, that's good. Okay, let's see. Uh, the first question is a green grocer. What is a green grocer? It's the, um, the shop that only sells um, it's a products from the, from the ground, like uh, vegetables, uh, some plants that were, were used for cooks and fruits. Very good. That and is exactly. Some seeds. That is it. A green grocer is where you can buy fruits, vegetables, uh, some uh, seeds, things like that. So you can make a salad or something like that. Good. 
customers. What are the customers? The people, the people who, the people who buy the things. The people buy. buy the chair. Very good. People who came or buy. who come still comes to the stores and they buy different things. Okay, had to ask the grocer for the things they wanted to buy. They didn't have freedom, the person trolled it around. What is, uh, let me see now. That's good. Okay, do you have any question here in this uh, little reading? Not the chair. Not the chair. Okay, so now we're going to read. Okay, uh, everybody, we're going to read. It's not that big, so I'm going to be moving here whenever you are reading. Um, let's see. Edwin, could you please start? Okay. Um, in town, in town, there are different kinds of shops. Some some of them sell clothes. Others sell choice shoes, medicine, books, fruit and vegetable, meat, bread, and jewelry. All modern large shopping malls have nearly all the shops you can think, think of where we can buy almost all we want. In the windows, we see sample of the thing which they sell. Advertise, advertise, advertise offers, discounts, and sales. Over and over, Sorry. no, no problem. Over a uh, hundred years ago, there were no supermarket in Great Britain, but there were a lot of a lot of uh, small shops. People went to the shops almost every day because they didn't have a fridge. They went to the butchers to buy meat. They went to the grocery for tea, sugar, flour, and cheese. They bought butter and meal at the dairy. They bought bread and the bakery. They bought fruit and vegetable, vegetable and the green grocer. Customer had to ask the grocer for the things they wanted to buy us. To buy us, they didn't have the freedom of pushing a trolley around the supermarket and pick their their own shopping like people today. Perfect. Thank you very much. Uh, next is going to be uh, Gisela. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Uh, Good evening. In town, in town, there are different kinds of shops. Some of them sell, sell clothes. Others sell shoes, medicine, books, fruits, vegetables, meat, bread, and jewelry. Almost large shopping malls have nearly at the shops, can see no. Where we can buy almost all we, yeah, no, we want. In the windows, we, we see samples of the, which Thanks. they sell, advertise, offer discount sales. Over a hundred years ago, they were supermarket in Great Britain, but there were lot of small shop. People went to the shop almost so to say, every day because they didn't have fridges. They went to the bath. No veo ahí por las fotos, teacher. Okay, don't worry. They went to the grocer for tea, sugar, flour, and cheese. Cheese. They, they bought butter and milk at the dairy. They bought bread at Berkeley. They bought fruit and vegetable at the green ground. Customer had to, customer had to ask the grocer for thing they wanted to buy. They didn't have the freedom of pushing a trolley around a supermarket. 
and pick their own shopping like people to do today. Perfect, thank you. You're welcome. Next one is going to be um, Margarita. Mm. Are you here with us, Margarita? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I was in mute. <laughs> Don't worry. Uh, in town, there are different kinds of shops. Some of them sell clothes, others sell shoes, medicine, books, fruit, and vegetables, meat, bread, and jewelry. All modern large shoppings most have near, nearly all the shops you can think of. <clears throat> Where we can buy almost all we want. In the windows, we see samples of the things which they sell, advertise, offers, discount, and sales. Over 100 years ago, there were no supermarkets in Great, Brit in Great Britain, but there were a lot of small shops. People went to the, sh to the shops almost every day because they didn't have uh, fridges. They went to the butter to buy meat. They went to the grocer to, for tea, sugar, flour, and cheese. They bought butter and milk at the dairy. They bought bread and at the bakery. They bought fruit and vegetables at the green grass. Customers had to ask the grocer for the things they wanted to buy as they didn't have the freedom of pushing a roller around the supermarket and pick their own shoppings like people do today. Perfect, thank you. Okay, the next one is going to be um, Joanna. Hello. Hello. Um, in town, there are different kinds of shops. Some of them sell clothes. Others sell shoes, medicine, books, fruit and vegetables, meat, bread, and jewelry. All modern large shopping malls have nearly all the shops for um, all the shops you can think of, where we can buy almost all we want. In the windows, we see samples of the things which they sell, advertise offers discounts and sales. Over a hundred years ago, there were no supermarkets in Great Britain, but there were a lot of small shops. People went to the shops almost every day because they didn't have fridge. They went to the butcher to buy meat. They went to the grocer for tea, sugar, flour, and cheese. They bought butter and milk at the diary, dairy. They bought bread at the bakery. They bought fruit, fruit and vegetables at the green grocer. Customer had to ask the grocer for the things they wanted to buy as they didn't have to the freedom of pushing a throw a trojer. Trolley. Trolley. Trolley around a supermarket and pick their own shopping like people do today. Perfect, thank you. Next one is going to be Marlene. Okay, teacher. In town, there are different kinds of jobs. Some of them sell clothes, others sell shoes, medicine, boots, fruit, and vegetables meat, bread, and jewelry. All modern large shopping malls have nearly all the shops you can think of, where we can buy almost all we want. 
In the windows, we see samples of the things which they sell. Albertus offers discounts and sales over a hundred years ago. There were no supermarkets in Great Britain, but there were a lot of small shops. People went to the shops almost. Um, I can see teacher, Sorry. Okay. the other parts. <laughs> okay. Um, every day, because they didn't have fridges, they went to the voucher to buy meat. They went to the grocer for tea, sugar, flour, and cheese. They bought butter and milk at the dairy. They bought bread at the bakery. They bought fruit and vegetables at the green grocer. Customers had to ask the grocer for the things they wanted to buy as they didn't have the freedom of pushing a trolley around a supermarket and pick their own shopping like people do today. Perfect, thank you. Okay. Uh, next one is going to be Lorena. Yes, uh, in town, there are different kinds of shops. Some of them sell clothes, others sell shoes, medicine, books, fruit and vegetables, meat, bread, and jewelry. All modern large shopping malls have nearly at the shops you can think of, where we can buy almost all we want. In the windows, we, sell, we see samples of the thing. Will they sell, advertise offers, discounts, and sale? Over a hundred years ago, there were no supermarkets in Great Britain, uh, but there were a lot of small shops. People went to the shops, to the shop almost every day because they didn't have fridges. They went to the butcher to buy meat. They went to the grocer for tea, sugar, flour, and cheese. They bought butter and milk at the dairy. They bought bread at the bakery. They bought fruit and vegetables at the green grocer. Customer has to ask the grocer for the things uh, they wanted to buy as they didn't have the freedom of pushing a trolley around a supermarket and pick their own shopping like people do today. Very good, perfect, thank you. Okay, the next one is going to be Gerardo. In town, there are different kinds of shops. Some of them sell clothes, others sell shoes, medicine, books, fruit, and vegetables, meat, bread, and jewelry. All modern large shopping malls have nearly all the shops you can think of, where we can buy almost all we want. In the window, we see samples of the things which, which they sell. Advertise offers discount and sale. Over a hundred years ago, there were no supermarkets in Great Britain, but there were a lot of small shops. People went to the shop almost every day because they didn't have fridge. They went to the butcher to buy meat. They went to the grocer for tea, sugar, flour, and cheese. They bought beer and milk at the diary. They bought bread at the bakery. They bought fruit and vegetables at the green grocer. Customers had to ask the grocer for the things they wanted to buy as they didn't have the freedom of pushing a trolley, trolley around a supermarket and pick their own shopping like people do today. Very good, thank you. Next one is going to be uh, Elvis. In town, there are different kinds of shops. Some of them sell clothes, others sell shoes, medicine, books, fruit, and vegetables, meat, bread, and jewelry. All modern large shopping malls have nearly all the shops you can think of, where we can buy almost all we want. In the windows, we see samples of the things which they sell, advertise offers, discounts, and sales. Over a hundred years ago, there were no supermarkets in Great Britain, 
but there were a lot of small shops. People went to the shop almost every day because they didn't have fridges. They went to the butcher to buy, to buy meat. They went to the grocer for tea, sugar, flour, and cheese. They bought butter and milk at the diary. They bought bread at the bakery. They bought fruit and vegetables at the green grocer. Customers had to ask the grocer for the things they wanted to buy as they didn't have the freedom of punishing a trolley, a trolley around a supermarket and pick their own shopping like people do today. Very good, perfect, thank you. Okay, so this is uh, kind of interesting because you realize that life has changed, right? I mean, you go to the refrigerator and take some food uh, from there, and that is like very normal for us. But can you imagine life without a refrigerator? How do you think it was that? I mean, I think that's difficult. Yeah, life in the past was difficult. I mean, I mean, I go to the supermarket two times in a month. I mean, to go to the store every day so you can cook something, right? Should be very difficult. How do you think it's going to be in the future? Speaking about shopping, everything that is to buy, advertisement, what do you think is going to happen in the future? I guess in the future we won't go to the to the mall. We're going to uh, receive our groceries and things like that in our home, like uh, this time in, uh, with the uh, for the pandemic we have that kind of option. Yeah, that is true. That is a very good thing, you know, because for example in Walmart you can just shop online. I want this and this and this. And you have the options to go to the supermarket and just pick everything or to go to uh, to to wait for them at home. I mean, you just say, I, I, at this time, I need that at home and you can just see that one. So that is a very good thing that probably is going to be very common in the future, right? It's going to be like, I want this. And this, and this. What, what other changes do you think that we are going to have in the future? Uh-huh. Anybody else want to give an opinion? What do you think is going to happen? Let's do some predictions. I think we will receive our stuff, our shops at our houses, right? We can sell online or nowadays. And that is an interesting and that is important now and it's a really big step for the humanity right now but some of sometimes it's not really safe that we can that we think so we have something positive but we have something negative too yeah i believe that that is true i mean um i, I was remembering just right now that uh, you know, um, a teacher in the U.S. as uh, she, um, well, speaking about advertisement, uh, she uh, right now. I mean, this happened very recently. She tell to the students, "Let's do an experiment." Okay, uh, we are going to um, do different things, and we are going to measure how many days uh, we we wait until an advertisement come to our cell phone. For example, the activity that she said is like, uh, we're going to look for, for example, shoes in a cell phone. Then uh, they measured that like three hours after that one, they were advertisement like shoes. Do you want shoes? She's from this, she's from that one. 
sometimes right. it was very interesting because sometimes they say that they were not using the cell phone. They were just saying, okay, I would like some shoes, you know, and then two or three days after that one, it started to appear some advertisement. So nowadays, uh, all the technology that we have, uh, all the information that we keep on cell phones uh, are helping people to create personalized advertisement. I mean, there are a lot of advertisements nowadays, but depending on what you say, what you look for on the cell phone, what you click like to, uh, is going to appear something accordingly to what you are looking for. And that is happening right now. What do you think is going to happen with the advertisement in the future? No changes. <laughs> we, will have, we will have a big time to advertise offers around us every day. For example, I don't know if you if you read about this, but it's supposed that WhatsApp will offer advertise advertises in a update that they will that they had launched. But I don't know what happened, but I didn't see that advertise offers on WhatsApp, but it probably in the future will maybe they will do that, you know, because they receive out comes from the advertisers that we watch every day. Yeah, that is true. I mean, for example, I have read also about influencers, right? Uh, now, there are lots of people on the social net that they are uh, telling you, buy this, buy this other thing. I mean, they have a lot of followers. In companies, they always pay attention to those kind of situations. So they take advantage, right? They say, okay, we're going to give you an amount of money or some products, but you, in your channel, you offer this product. So how do you think it's going to be that in the future? In my opinion, the uh, this kind of uh, companies will always take advantage of, uh, of the technologies to and the things that are in fashion in that moment um, and they will use it to for publicity and things like that. That is true. I mean, that's been happening for a long time. Uh, in the past, maybe it was very common to see movie artists, uh, athletes, just promoting perfumes and many other things. But now uh, it's changing, right? Everything is changing very fast. For example, we, with the pandemic, a lot of businesses, they went down, but other businesses, they go up. So they're there. They're there and they are making lots of changes into that one. It's interesting to think what's gonna happen in the future. Okay, uh, before we finish, uh, I was speaking with some of the classmates at the beginning of the class, asking them if you finished already the platform. Um, what about the rest of the class? Have you finished already uh, the platform? Yes, I have. Yes. Very yes, well. Yes, teacher. Very good. So I believe that also you send the documentation and we are just expecting the new module to begin. And I guess that you also have your certificate, right? Yes. Very good. Anyways, we are going to check uh, the platform on Wednesday uh, just to check some details and the final test. Uh, but if you finish already, everything will be fine, okay? Okay, teacher. Very good. Do you have any question, any comment for the class of today? Okay, my friends. So it was a pleasure to be with you. I hope you have a very good night. See you tomorrow. Remember that this is the last week of this module. But of course, we are going to continue the classes after that. Okay. Thanks. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.